I see you there. Right there in the middle of the screen. You're the one that was eyeballing me earlier this winter. I know. You're watching. You devil. Quit eyeballing me, son. Hey, y'all. How you doing? <laughs> I was trying to get my Aussie down this morning and uh, just can't quite break the Aussie. It kept turning pirate for some reason. Hey, I tell you what. You know, when you get started on a project and you start make, making some progress and you make a clean spot, you know, well, I've made a clean spot now. I know to y'all that looks rough, but to me it looks great. Uh, I've made a clean spot in there, and that has uh, spurred me on a little bit today. It's like, yeah, that's looking good, because I know what it's looked like for a while. Now, you see, last year I just, oh, it's painful. It's painful to talk about. It's painful, you know, but I do it. I mean, we all get discouraged from time to time. Zuh. And sometimes we have one of them bad days, and sometimes we had a bad year. A lot of us are getting hit about the head and neck with a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, but last year I just, I, I had, I had had, had, uh, had enough, you know. And just really, basically, just quit, just sat down. And, um. I still kept going, still kept trying to, but the motivation was washed out and gone. And um, I don't know, you tell me if that happens to y'all. And over the over the, the course of getting cleaned up, you know, I've gotten kind of, I found things around here uh, from past videos that I made, you know, especially ones from, you know, long, a little bit longer ago, you know, um, yeah, it's kind of neat, but, uh, there's one right there, it's been, it's been sitting over here on this thing, I'll show you in a second, but that was from a, a past episode in the wintertime, you know, it was sitting, I had it sitting there, gathered it up and put it there, I've got a special thing to do. How many of y'all know what that is? I got a little of everything here at Sanford and Sons Home and Garden. I don't know whether whether anybody will get that or not. Some people will. They use it for, uh, it's got something to do with horses. Yep. And then I found this over here now, y'all. It ain't pretty here, but it's getting there. It's a fixer-upper, and I'm a fixing it up. You see that? That right there, that is the remnants of a video I made to uh, shout out a beekeeper that I really like. He's a great guy, and his name is Baddest Bees, and uh, I used the gravel, you know, to do a little thing for him. That was a while back, just reminded me of that. These stories, everything has a story right it's like that pepper right there you know john will it grow sent me that little pepper last year when it was just a tiny thing and i overwintered it this right here now it's a trophy trophy of days gone past this one has an interesting story and i'd like to tell you all the details but I just can't this brings back some great memories this buck this rack right here, you know. Now, I know you think I killed it. I didn't. Um, I was dating a girl, and she had to hit yard sales all the time. And uh, so that was in a box. So I got that. <laughs> it's not about the deer. It's about the girl. <laughs> oh, got an early start. Uh, well, not too early. But uh, got a good bit of daylight. It's hot. It's hot here already, and uh, I have got to get that tender plant right there. Transplanted it again yesterday, <laughs> repotted it, 
and the sun's beating it about the head and neck. So I got to get that covered up because it's not like me. It can't stay out here in the sun. It needs protection. So let me get it some protection. And just like that, boom, that tender bunch of plants right there. It's got a little protection while they get established. Oh, I think I'll just hang out here for a few minutes and make sure that it's okay. Can you hear it? <laughs> oh, I've been busy. And now I've got the thunder. Got a line of thunderstorms boiling up, summer thunderstorms. And this little tub is in the sun. These things will, um, these things like to travel around, but not normally in the pot. So I'm going to have to move them to where the shade is. And they're looking a little peaked. So I think what they need out here is a fan. What do y'all think? I, just for them, because it's so hot for them, not me. It's for the, the sweet potatoes. And, and you know something? I was watching a video the other day by, uh, one of our uh, newest members of Shed Wars, the Cosmic Cultivators, these folks are doing some stuff uh, that they're some great gardeners. It's almost all in containers what they do. You need to go see them. Um, but I was watching this video, and they kind of made a comment about getting into a, a sweet potato battle with me. And folks, I'm telling you, uh, that's a young, a lot younger couple than I am, and I ain't ready to battle, but I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to have to go get a container or 12 uh, to get these things moving. We'll see. I got to get a fan over here. Well, I had to run some power out here earlier because this got pruned back, if you remember. So I cut me a trail through there. It ran this one. Now we have some power. Now that's better. That'll help me keep a little bit cooler. Uh, the sweet potatoes. It'll help me keep the sweet potatoes a little cooler. Next. <laughs> Bare ground. Meat free mulch. That'll work. Just that easy. Free mulch. Get your cardboard. Now, here at my place, it's not just about the frogs. It's about everything, including the very, fra uh, very first little tiny baby uh, blue tailed lizard I see there. Blue tailed skink. Probably a broadhead skink. That's what it is. A lot of people call them blue tails for obvious reasons. But that's the first one. And he is he is about maybe an inch and a half long. Let's see how close we can get in on him before he runs. I guess that's it. He gone. Yeah. Now I've got to rescue some uh, some uh, some tadpoles. Uh, now we're over here in what's become the new backside, and I want that container right there. That's uh, picked that up off the side of the road. Old cooler. We're gonna make that into a sweet potato farm, but I've got tadpoles in there, so I want that water out of there, and I want them tadpoles to get a bigger place. So here we go. Well, that's got all the, all the junk out of here. Look at there. That ain't even a tadpole. What is that? That's a dragonfly. Look, dragonfly nymph right there living in here. Isn't that awesome? Let's put him over here in the big pond. Let's see if we can catch a tadpole. 
Don't miss a chance to go out with your kids and catch some tadpoles. Or just be a kid and go catch you some on your own. No matter how old you are. Don't want to put all that in the pond. Tadpoles only. I had one in my hand a while ago. Oh, I feel some movement. Oh, I feel some. There we go. See, I told you there's tadpoles to save. We'll just ease him right over there. I'll dump these out. I know it's most of the trash is gone. Yeah, maybe y'all can see some in there. There we go. All right. I think that's it. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. If any of y'all have stayed to the end of this, I think you're uh, you're doing a great favor to this old guy. And I have got three three thunderstorm cells, those big cells, and uh, they're all around me, and they're growing together with me in the center of them. And I think they finally reach me. So why don't I do this? I'll just tell y'all, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to keep doing some stuff around here, but at least I can uh, go ahead and edit and upload this and call it a day for the video. Uh, yep, let's do that. It's been a good day so far, and maybe these thunderstorms will pass and, and uh, I can get some more done. The tarp's working good, though. We're dry up under here right now. So, y'all be good. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Ooh! <laughs> That's gonna stay out here. Um... Can y'all hear it? There's a huge bolt of lightning just came down. Lord. Oh, I wanted to do a quick shout out before I do though. <laughs> I want to shout out Nikola Tesla or Nikola Tesla because without him, we wouldn't have AC power and we wouldn't have electric motors. So thank you very much. For watching and thank you Nikola Tesla for uh, your contribution to humanity y'all be good <laughs>